Hey everyone, it's the Yellow Burke here. And even though I might not support the US government, military, its policies, its military complex, its prison industrial complex, its capitalist society, which puts us as a people against each other and when I say people I don't just mean black people minorities I mean people as and we can all reproduce we're of the same species I say we should come together as a loving population instead of a derisive capitalist money hungry society that actually preys on each other which instead of uh, cooperation like ants or bees or really successful animals we have a mentality that stand alone and in the end I fear that will destroy us so today I was talking about so when I said in the news they were saying it's a slight problem in their sonar defense system it's mainly uh, to counteract submarines, but I know it's to counteract my stealth missiles and pretty much stealth airplanes and jets and drones, pretty much anything that would get through your anti defense system. So, there's basically main, two main ways that you can stop or, or jam a sonar system you can actually have uh, have the material to be made out of something that absorbs the waves or you can have it as something that the rays don't actually pass through like lead or some other heavy material so that the sonar actually want to read so I said that's pretty smart. But I said instead of looking at what the system can't read, look at what it can read. It can read disruptions traveling at a high speed, something that's unusual in its current path. So it's actually pretty simple. You just gotta train the system to read what it can't read. So you look at the outline of the system, how fast it's moving, its components, and you will be able to identify a stealth aircraft coming at you, submarine, projectile, because it's something that shouldn't be there, it's an anomaly. It's pretty simple. I bent out of it. I didn't want to release it because I didn't want to help the U.S. military. I said, deaths are unnecessary, any way you look at it, we really shouldn't be angry all the time, we should be happy, that's why you see me anytime, I'm in my movies, I'm always, I say these movies, one of my ideas, my thoughts, I'm reaching out and telling y'all, I'm always smiling, most of the time I laugh at life, if you ask anybody, I'm a goofy person, I just like to laugh. Say we should try to be happy instead of sad. Look what you can do and then what you can't do. Just try to work towards it. But it shouldn't be anything you can't do. They just aren't thinking hard enough or smart enough. The yellow bird, crazy and bipolar out. Like I said, I'm just trying to bring jobs to America, jobs to the world. I don't even say just America because I even like the idea of money. I hate money. At first, my goal was to bring jobs to Georgia. But despite talking to CNN, AJC, Fox News, MNBC, uh, who's the other one? NPR. I've got no help for the social media or the big news companies, as I should say. I say they're social media because they're social media for the government and for big power players, not the regular people, or for 
ideas they want to push I say no racism even though it is true white privilege you would see a white person with ideas on the internet on Yahoo before you would a black person I put out multi-billion dollar ideas to stop damage stop deaths I haven't put out a lot of it because I don't see myself as but in my idea that I should wait to be acknowledged before I actually do do anything or say anything about the stuff I do think because I always used to think the ideas came from God I used to think science come from God but all I have faced is obstacles government intervention human intervention it seems totally unnecessary for somebody that's trying to do good because as I said before I have gave away free water free energy free resources medicine that everybody should use everybody could use that would help human rights but big business which controls the US government and basically the world would rather you start to death than be healthy so the crazy person out be a sheep in America or don't be a sheep I don't know what we should do I always say rebel but we live in a police state rebellion will be met by the police the army cause that you're a terrorist I used to occupy Wall Street but it was Atlanta I occupied Atlanta but Nothing changed.